Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you have saved a building block, you can easily reuse it in the future when creating documents that are based on the template into which you saved the building block content. We will now examine how to insert the building block content and also how to edit or delete existing building blocks. In Word, you can use the Building Blocks Organizer to perform many tasks related to the use of building blocks. This dialog box allows the user to insert, edit the properties of, or delete existing building block content. You access this dialog box by clicking the Insert tab in the ribbon, and then clicking the Quick Parts button in the Text Button group. Choose the Building Blocks Organizer command from the drop-down menu of choices. That will open the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box. This dialog box shows a listing of the building blocks which are available for use within the current document. You may click on any of the building blocks listed within this dialog box to select the building block and preview its content in the area at the right side of the dialog box. To insert a building block, select it from the list and then click the Insert button at the bottom of the dialog box. The content will be inserted into the document at the currently selected location. This will also close the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box. To edit the properties of or delete a building block, first select the name of a building block from the list shown in the Building Blocks Organizer. If you wish to delete the selected building block, just click the Delete button at the bottom of the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box. You will then be prompted to confirm your choice in another dialog box. Click the Yes button to delete the selected building block. In this case, the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box will remain open. To edit the properties of a building block, simply select the building block whose properties you wish to edit from the list shown. Then click the Edit Properties button at the bottom of the dialog box. This will open the Modify Building Block window where you can edit any of the associated properties of the building block. When you have finished editing the properties, click the OK button to save your changes. Once again, another dialog box will prompt you to confirm your changes. Click the Yes button to confirm and save your changes. Once you are finished with the Building Blocks Organizer dialog box, you can click the Close button to close it and return to your document. You can also quickly insert building block content that is available to your document in a way that doesn't involve the protracted process of using the Building Blocks Organizer. If the building block that you want to insert into your document has a unique name, then you can simply type the unique name of the building block that you want to insert into your document at the place where you want the building block content to appear. Then with your insertion point either in or immediately following the unique name of the building block, simply press the F3 key on your keyboard. Word will replace the name of the building block with the actual building block content. You can also insert a building block by simply clicking the Explore Quick Parts button and then selecting the building block that you want to insert from the listing shown. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachyoucomp dot com forward slash free.